Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer, and this is the UK Northern Powerhouse on Transport Fever 2. This is going to be episode number 46 in the series, and in this episode, I would like, if I can, to get the Grand Central route, Grand Central route from uh, Bradford, which would be going down to London. But in this case, it'll just go down as far south as Grantham Inn. It will require a couple of pieces of track putting in, which uh, haven't been done yet, but. I've just thinking of that because we finally have the class 43 HSTs have been uh, released by Killer Cans. Uh, I'll be taking a closer look at those possibly on Monday if I can manage to get a uh, UK mod showcase out but we do have the the 43s in Grand Central colours. I was thinking maybe just using a Mark IV set with a Mark IV DVT and maybe a 67 to power it, but as it turns out, the 43s have come out earlier than I thought. There aren't any uh, Grand Central Mark III carriages yet, but I guess what I'll just use, I'll just use the Mark IV carriages from the Grand Central set. So I've sp sped time up to 2020 just to unlock those Mark IV carriages, the Grand Central ones, and I'll just put those on. I know it's not accurate, but I think it'll do the job until Mark III uh, Grand Central carriages, if they ever get released. But I think it just allows us to do do that one, and there's another one down the East Coast as well. But I think I just wanted to do this one. But before I do that, I wanted to head down to the East Midlands and make the East Midlands a bit more accurate. So I want to... What do I want to do? Okay, it's been a while since I've played this game, since uh, I had all the issues with my computer and everything. I just want to do... Uh, Sheffield Loughborough, you will now become, uh, what will you become is, I don't think there are any fixed formations, so I will just, DMUs, no, no, so what I'll do is just put together, I think I will use, because we haven't got any East Midlands trains livery, I'll use the Swallow, because I quite like that one, and there are some new Mark III carriages, so we'll put some of these on just see how long we can make this and then a buffet in the middle and a couple more of these don't doesn't have to be super accurate I just want to put these on it doesn't even need to be this long to be honest what's the um oh what I've done I've done what I've done there is set the wrong advanced I need to change my settings what have I done what have I done what I'm doing interface that's the one distance units need to be in meters resume so we can get the length it's still saying point more of a mile did I press apply possibly not distance units meters money format power good let's see if we can do that again right we want to replace these with some diesel HSTs more well, class 43 one of them passenger yeah we've got meters now that's good and then Intercity, one, two, three, four, that was. Buffet in the middle, I think. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it is. And then, not not one of them. One of them. Not bothering with first class, I don't think. Uh, 200 metres. And then we want the rear-facing power car on the back like that. And then we're going to replace four, 74 million. Ouch. Actually, what I should have done, oh, I didn't do that, did I, uh, is the, which one is it, East Midlands, there should be another East Midlands, there should be a Nottingham, Nottingham Loughborough, is there not? It doesn't look like it, I'm, I was certain I'd put a Nottingham Loughborough on, let's do that now quickly, so, I don't know if there's any turn back facilities at Nottingham, possibly not, let's just take a look, yeah, there is. A switch there so that's all fine and this is an East Midlands rail not East, what am I doing here what's my name in convention not to Loughborough and we'll change that to something in a sort of maroony color but it wants to be different to that one so I think it can be that color actually no that's too close to that one we got anything a bit darker Slightly darker than that one, that's fine. And that's turning round in Loughborough. Have we got a depot anywhere nearby? Don't think we do. Let's chuck a depot in 
to Loughborough, uh, just chuck one here after that signal. Have I electrified that? I've electrified it with third rail, which is not what we want. We just want a piece of track. It doesn't really matter what it is. Uh, no, just chuck it on there. Buildings will use just one of the little sidings, I think. One of them. Chuck that on there. And that's been electrified. Catenary, catenary, no. Right, so I've forgotten what the formation of that vehicle was, but never mind. Right, diesel, 43. One of them. Passenger, one, two, three. Buffet car, no. One of them. And then I keep keep pressing the add button as I go onto that, and then what was it about something like that, 200 meters? And then the power car on the back as well. Another. So how many? I think only two of them. I think for this because it's not it's not that far up to there really, is it? So we'll get two of those on. Send one of those off onto the East Midlands, Nottingham, Loughborough. And I'll just get this one, I'll get the second one scheduled and then we will get on building the actual lines that we need to get the Grand Central route in. Okie dokie, so we've got the two units on the Nottingham Loughborough service now, it does look rather nice I think. Look at that. Um, bit overkill for the actual journey that it's doing because the down, run down to Nottingham down to East Midlands Parkway. It, does, it gets up to about 60 miles per hour, I think, on the rundown. Let's take a look at this one, which is, let's take a look at that one, that one. See what sort of speed, it doesn't get to it up to any sort of speed at all, just because how close they are, but it's a bit more accurate because these are the mainline services from Sheffield and Nottingham down to, well, it would be down to London, but in this case, it's just as far down as Loughborough so hopefully that should make Loughborough grow a little bit more maybe even encourage some people to use East Midlands Airport which actually there's a person waiting which is good yeah we've got quite good connectivity now here between uh, like Nottingham Derby and the East Midlands Parkway so it was important to put that even though it slows down the trains and they can't get up to any sort of speed it's just a good connection to have Right, so the Grand Central route is uh, Bradford. I want, it's the Bradford Interchange route that I want to put. So it's Bradford Interchange, Halifax, uh, Wakefield, Kirkgate, and Pontefract, then down to Doncaster, uh, which we need some lines. So where are we? Down here. First of all, need to pause the game, and we've got this junction between Halifax and. Huddersfield. I never built this line because there was nothing really that was actually using the line so it wasn't required and I just kind of built it in order to get the Huddersfield the Trans Pennine routes in really. I never really gave it much thought. I don't think I was using the actual having the map open on my desktop at the same time because I didn't have the second screen at the time so some of the junctions from a while ago aren't particularly accurate uh, is that paint tool? I just want to get rid of that. I just what I want to do is push this back a bit. Just make this bit of track a bit more east-west, and then this heads off towards no electrification. Wants wants to be something like that with high-speed track, preferably. Yeah, because the angle of that junction previously was way off. I think actually I'll keep this. Can I? Oh, I haven't got my keyboard binding on either. Yeah, because when I upgraded my computer, obviously I had to. <laughs> I had to reinstall Transport Fever. I had to reinstall everything Windows. I usually have my up and down on the page up, page down key, like it was in Transport Fever one, and I just forgot to reset the bindings on that. So. Not an issue, but just when you forget, it's frustrating. Right, get that. Just, I think, no, that's pretty... Uh, can we go a bit faster? It's not the end of the world, but we are going to have HSTs on here after all. No, I think that's as good. I, I suppose I could probably make it a little bit 
better, but it is quite tight into there. Let's let's try and make it a little bit better. I'm not sure what sort of speed we'd be getting in, and I suppose this section here, if we go straight and down, just keep it level, just to make no, that's that's the wrong button. Right, I'm just going to change the keyboard bindings quickly because this is really not good. Uh, controls and I've forgotten which one they are actually. Construction. There we go, much better. Page up and page down is so much more straightforward. I know what they were thinking with the M and N keys being close to that, but I just find it so much easier using the page up and page down keys, especially being left handed as well. I just find it a bit more straightforward. I think 40 will do. Let's see what it does. No, no, don't want to. Can that just connect onto there? Too much slope. Right, so this will have to come back a bit further. We're going to have to push that back a little bit and maybe if I dump it straight in, that's not too bad actually. And then if we just follow it round, where's that? That's there, that's good. Just get that connected up. And then this one here as well. Hopefully it should be relatively straightforward. Actually, I'll just double check. That all seems fine. There's no glitching of the track, which is the main thing. And again, that one all seems good. All right, so we have a signal there. Should we have a signal here? Yeah, we probably should have, really. Don't think we're going to have a signal within the actual junction itself because I don't think there'll be enough space for trains to queue in that section. Um, having said, actually no, because they are the ones for Grand Central are going to be short formations anyway. So that's there, and then this runs off towards Halifax. Hopefully, this should be relatively straightforward. It's quite hilly. Let's just actually take a quick look on open rail map. Yeah, just wanted a quick look and actually what I've done is this junction isn't quite right. It's actually grade separated on the run up from uh, from Huddersfield. So we'll yeah, it's gonna be tricky, but we'll we'll try and get it in we'll try and get it accurate and I suppose it'll help capacity as well because it is potentially quite a busy route so we'll have a little bit of a stub there and hopefully no we're not going to be able to get underneath that are we at all all right get rid of you actually saying that where i just had it was probably so you go into there you go down as aggressively as possible which isn't much at all and then get rid of all this track hopefully it should just leave a little bit and i think if i tr if i bring it I hate it when you can't get to that little tiny bit on the junction there. Right, that's fine. And then if I can just bring this over, if I press M and give it a little bit of a lift, that possibly might be enough. It's not. Right, okay. Yeah, I thought this was going to be tricky. What I want to do then is push this right back and that back to there and then up as aggressively as possible which is looking a bit too possibly a bit too high I think maybe just a nudge down get that and then actually that's gonna have to go back as well bring that over down maybe come on just a little little bit of a little bit of a tunnel under there no not having it. Oh, there we are. We've got got a little bit of a tunnel now. Let's see if we can bring this up. Can we? Because I don't think I'm going to be able to get back up to here. Oh, no, I can. That's good. But it does that, which is just hideous. So we can't have that. And we've brought ourselves really close to this junction as well, which I, sh I sh probably should have just uh, left it the way it was possibly but I do like things to be a little bit more accurate even in within the scale that we're playing with what we're working with uh, can I get onto there I can good and then oh no I've done I've done the wrong side 
Well, that's good, isn't it? Right. So get rid of that and that. Now we've left ourselves with a little weird tunnel. Not to worry. Can I just chuck that on there? No, I can't. Right, to there. See what sort of speed we get. 69. That is quite slow. Collision. No, there isn't, there isn't a collision. It's all in your imagination. Right. This was supposed to be quite easy, but I just want ended up messing around, didn't I? Right, get that to there. That's fine. Because I do want a reasonable sp uh, speed on this 85. What I want and what I'm going to get are completely two different things, aren't they, by the looks of it? Right, chuck that. Chuck 133. That will do. There's a little bit of kink in the track, but it's not the end of the world. And then can I just chuck that straight on there without any awfulness? It is... Let's take it. No, there's a bit of ballast. I don't like the ballast glitching through the track. Right, let's try. Put a junction in. Something like that. Raise it up just so we don't get any of the ballast glitching through the track. And then that's not going to meet up with that. I don't think. No. I think whatever way I do it, it's not going to work, is it? Just have a little tiny junction. Just have a look at that. So that's about as good as I'm going to get, I think. I'm going to have to live with that. And then drag this to there. Good. Are we sorted? I think so. And this junction here may as well be alongside, although it doesn't want to be glitching with the ballast. That's fine. And then just get this bit hooked up. Where's the uh, switch? Not there. There. This is going to be pretty slow, isn't it? 39, 35. And it's not particularly attractive either, is it? Really. I don't like the look of that at all. Let's make this a little bit more shallow as it comes out of here then. No, I don't want it to... It's about there. Good. And then maybe if it's straight for a little bit and then comes in and that's on the wrong... No, it's not. It's about there. 48. That's not too bad. Still doesn't look fantastic, but I think we will just have to live with it. Turn up the volume, smooth all this off a little bit, and then just hopefully get that 52. Oh yeah, this is where I wanted the track to bend a little bit. Let's see if it'll let me just kind of sit on this, on the roof of the tunnel approach entrance. It's 55 as well, it's rubbish. 80. What? No, you don't have to go up in the air like that. 70. Try and come down a little bit. And then hopefully this will just let me connect that. 105, that's not too bad. I think I will, I think I'll live with it. So then we just want a, I think we'll have a signal on here. And a signal there, that's all fine, good signal there not going to have a s actually no we can get away with a signal that was glitching on the ballast don't like it not acceptable even the weather even with the level of detail that I tend to work out that is not acceptable so uh, something like that that's looking a little bit better all fine get that smooth off a little bit and don't really have to worry about it too much at this stage I will do that off camera. Now the next thing is, the thing I was doing before anyway was just having a quick look on open map just to see if there's any tunnels and I think there's one little tunnel so I will just have a small tunnel there and then the rest of it, where's my junction, will just be above ground I think. Where are we going? Over there. So I think we want to get rid of all this, all this road nonsense. And then put this track in. No, I don't want a tunnel, just cutting. There's only only allowed one tunnel. And yeah, I will allow that in something something like that, maybe. Dunno. Up to here. Shall we quickly get this connected and hopefully Where's where is it? Can I just without having tunnels? That's all connected up fine. It's on the right side. 
Speed is looking fine, that's all fine. All this just, I'm pretty sure it's only one service that's going to be using this particular route. I think I'll just put a intermediate signals just in this section. There might other there might be other services, possibly, but as far as I can make out there's only that one and then that comes into there, goes across the top, and then that comes into Barnsley, so ignore that. Wakefield like so. And then this is where it gets a little bit more complicated, so I just need to refer back to the map quickly. Okie dokie, so coming out of Wakefield Kirkgate, there's a junction, there's like a trumpet junction, but I think I'm just going to have this for now, just coming out of Wakefield, and there's like a cord or spur comes down 50, and then that joins back up to that line there, I think. That's that one, but it doesn't actually use that junction, so we're not going to build that just yet. Just have this. We'll have the track going out anyway to there. That's fine. And then there is another track which heads out kind of eastwards like that. And then, yeah, there's loads, there loads of different, different bits of track that are going to meet up with each other. But there's a track that goes out like that. And then just chuck that into there. Let's see what? Just double check that junction as always. And it runs kind of northeast, northeasterly sort of direction. No east-west sort of direction and that actually goes all the way over towards that sort of direction and there's loads of tracks that I haven't built yet that so yeah that would connect up with Ghoul so where's Ghoul? Ghoul's over there so this isn't pointing in the right direction this is more of a southwest southeasterly direction we want an east to west direction right so get that looking a bit more easterly I think we're possibly a little bit too. No, that's alright, that's pointing towards Gaul now, that's fine. So we got that into there. These junctions shouldn't be too bad because it should be slowing down as it approaches. I've left my switch in there, get rid of that, put that into there, and that should be fine. Chuck that over there. So we've got kind of Nottingley and Pontefract. So the next station, the called next station stop is Wakefield Kirkgate, got Pontefract. And then we have another spur which comes down parallel in between these two. So after Pontefract, we're coming down. Not really bothered about where the other stubs of tracks go for now. I just want to get this in. And then this runs down. Yeah, no, I think we'll do it in a couple of stages. I just want to get it built, but I don't want it to be all over the place. So I'll get that running straight down. Do a couple of sections at a time, I guess. Probably better to meet up with that junction there and then that junction needs to be replaced um i've been using what i've been using open rail map online org .org. um it's good but it sometimes it does omit some of the uh, the tracks or you have to zoom right in for them to become apparent so i've missed out some little things which are kind of important i've done a load of detailing on this as well um if i just back off is this just a standard cord into there? It is not. Well, it is. Let's just... Okie dokie. Hopefully this might actually be straightforward because it is comes into there like that. I don't know if I've broken. I'll, I'll check that later. It comes onto the east coast. Why is that? No, it's fine. It comes into the east coast uh, up, down. And then the, the vehicle has the wrong line for a bit and then it just switches over like that we'll have a high speed switch 90 i think that will do and then it does double track after that what does that look like i mean this doesn't actually technically have to be double track i don't think but i think it just would be better uh just if you think if we extend that track keeping it level to about there join that onto there nice 80, I think that will do actually. And then another one of these onto there. How does that look? 80, that will do. And then after this one here, switch over 47. Let's just have another check the map again. Yeah, actually, this just wants to be a standard merging if that is possible. 
So I think if we merge it in about the same, no, that's not going to let us do that, is it? Um, so from about here maybe, what's that doing? A 68. Is that looking all right? Yeah, it looks fine. So I think it looks a bit looks a bit wavy. I don't think it needs to be quite so wavy as that. So can we just get rid of that and then bring the track in here? Hopefully we can. No, we can't. Ah, that's annoying. Right, so bring that out to there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Just try and just want to get it as close to that track as physically possible without it snapping. And then something like that, and then just to there. Notice it does slow down a bit for some apparent reason. Why, why is construction not possible now? Because there's a bit of a weird kink in the track there, that's why. Just so just just like that, nice and straight. Doesn't really have to be anything fancy. It's just and that's doing a weird that's doing something really weird. Make that a little bit faster and then just slip that into there. Get rid of that. Slip that into there. Should be relatively straightforward. But it's not. <laughs> Nothing's ever straightforward, is it? Right, just just like that. That's nice and fast actually. Good, that's that done. Now do I think I will have a signal there actually. I might have another one there, there and there. There should be enough because it's going to be a short formed HST anyway. Should be enough space for that. And then this track goes off in completely the wrong direction of course it does. So I'll have to rebuild this again. And I think I did this in the last episode. I said, oh, this is going to be a nice straightforward, just little bits of track, just to kind of tie up some loose ends. And in the end, it ends up being quite complicated. But in actual fact, that makes for a better junction. Good. Right, get you on there. Make sure there's no horrible glitch in which it doesn't look like there is. I think so. We'll have jump a signal there. That one's already in place. And another one there and there. That does, does look a bit weird, doesn't it? There is a little bit of ballast appearing on top of the sleepers, but it's not on top of the track, so I think in this particular case I will live with it. And then I need a signal here. I need another one here. Right, so I think, I think it's done, hopefully. Just need to check so it's Bradford, Halifax, Wakefield, Kirkgate, Doncaster, and then London. But obviously, it's only going far as somewhere as far south as Grantham. Just I think we'll replace this road as we've uh, destroyed it. Again, we're going with any new bridges that we build are going to be gird bridges, something like that. Need to uh, need to rebuild that little bit of road. Push that back a bit. Oh no, what curve? Bring it out first and then do that, something like that. And then just this little bit of road as well. I think there's all the roads up round Halifax as well that we demolished need to be replaced, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. Just want the. Where's the girder? Has its own little thing in above, doesn't it? So we'll just chuck in brick wall, number of tracks. Four. Where are you? You're there. Underground. Right, so just chuck that. Chuck that quickly onto there. So we'll put one underneath the actual bridge itself. Something like that. And then just one behind it. Just to fill that little bit of a glitch that is left. And then the same on this side. Nope. Right, the same on. Right, no, you have to come at it from the different angle. Probably helps. Something like that. And then again, just just fill that little gap. Make sure it's not that one's glitched through the road. Just nice and straightforward. It's supposed to be. Right, do that in there. Make sure it's not glitching through the road. That's good. And then just put that in there just to fill that gap. Good. 
so that's connected uh, where are we now Huddersfield is over here all of these roads are broken can I get a road under there that would be good if I could just keeps everything nice and straightforward well having said that that is collision right so let's get rid of that there uh, and, and that and that all of it get rid of all of it and I think actually okay so how are we going to do this we're going to put the road in first and then we are going to put the track in like that I think and then collision of course there is just I need I just want to get rid of that I need I need a little no that's all I need again this should should really be quite straightforward but I do like to overcomplicate things so this is gonna to have to be quite a big span that's the only way we're gonna get away with this I think good so that just puts us an ode in there good sorted and then it's gonna to have to be so chuck that in there I know it's a little bit curved but I think I will live with it I think we'll go with an arch is it going to give us a single arch it is that's good because it is or do we want an, an over arch one I think we'll have one of them just because of the length of the span more than anything it is quite severe and then we just want a two track is it grey is that matching we'll just put a buttress on there just to make it look a little bit better flip it can you no all right then front yeah it's not amazing but it it'll do it looks all right and then just we just want to get these roads connected up that's all we want to do it doesn't look too bad it's on a slope but actually having said that I'm not too unhappy with that and then oh we've got more actually that's tunnel that's good we can just get that bolted straight onto there no worries what's wrong with you why are you complaining um why why are they complaining? What have I done wrong? No, you're not allowed. Why have you all... S you shouldn't have switched. So yeah, three... We shouldn't have any surfaces on platform one. That's a fake platform. Two. Oh, this could take some sorting, uh, sorting out. Why are you all going on to that? Oh, right, that's why. That, uh that explains that you just haven't connected it up so it was my fault for once well as I haven't said that it probably usually is but I just don't um, don't like taking responsibility right good you are all happy and now we can actually get on with watch what we wanted to do in the first place which is put a new route on so it's a new route from Bradford Interchange and then Halifax straight over the top of Huddersfield and then I'm lost where am I so that should be Huddersfield and then we come have I missed out a junction probably probably something missing isn't there where is that's Doncaster we've gone too far Huddersfield across yeah I was on the right sort of track excuse the pun Kirkgate good Doncaster and then non-stop to Grantham on the return Doncaster Wakefield Halifax let's just double check all this is nice and all on the right tracks keep it keep it luminous green for now actually just until I've kind of had a look inspected everything make sure it's all correct which it seems to be let's what sort of length is that I think Wakefield and Huddersfield are 160 by the looks of it do we have anything around here no we'll just, okay we'll just chuck in a uh, quick depot on here something like that is fine I'm not I'm not sure because I think there are only a couple of services in each direction per day so I don't know if I just want to put one train on each uh, I think I will just put two so what are we doing? We're doing a diesel, we're doing Grand Central and then passenger it's going to have to be a Mark 4 which I guess is a bit of an upgrade for the passengers. So can I put how long are the power cars? They're not quite short aren't they? So that's, one, so that's precisely 160. 1, 2, 3, one, two, three 5 coaches. 
so we'll buy two of them and then we want just to quickly rename this so it says Grand Central Bradford is it BDI I think down to Grantham I think have I got any others I'm pretty sure I've got other services yes yeah, BDI oh, so I actually remembered something so where's that gone GC so you want to be grey black doesn't really distinguish itself against the other so I think, I think it will be a black colour and then we'll just oh yeah I didn't actually forget that I'll do it for all vehicles I just like to have them on 25% maintenance so Grand Central you're on your way so I will wait for this unit to arrive at Grantham and then I'll set the other one off I mean it doesn't look too bad with the Mark IVs on it so yeah I'll wait for that one to reach Grantham and then I'll send this one off and then we'll have a ride along I think actually with the Grand Central route as it kind of meanders its way down towards Grantham okie dokie so he's made it down to Grantham now just had a couple of things to sort out on its way but I'm going to send that one off and I'm going to unpause him so we're going to have two I think on this one I think I'll have two on the other one which would would, would be the Sunderland to London as well I'm going to put that on which that'll be um, that'll be somewhere somewhere I can't remember right but I'm going to leave you with this one anyway uh, on its way down to Grantham and I'm going to say I think I'll leave it on the outside view as we have an auto save that's uh, just to be expected I think yeah I think I'll leave you with the outside view so you can appreciate the engine noise I think I'll zoom out a little bit and you can uh, appreciate the view as well as it uh, goes on its way down towards Grantham so I'm going to leave it there for today and say until next time bye bye